We are here in the Entomologist's Room. Yes, yes, the Entomologist's Room. There's a coat of arms piece, hooray! And a vase, I'm gonna smash it. Oh, oh, I don't smash it, but, but it's a vase. I like smashing things, why do I not smash the vase? Ah, okay, so uh, we need to get all of the moldings here. You might have noticed we're missing one, so I, I made a mistake. I need to go find the molding. Is there something else in this room? Okay, I've got the Tetravax. On another coat of arms. Okay, strength to destroy the lamp. Aha, that's it. Yes, and that is one of the crystal eyes, which will allow us to go back into the past. Now, um, as for the thing I'm missing, hint. Okay, hint says it's the Tetravex. Okay, well, the Tetravexes go here. We're not going to get all the Tetravexes until, like, a long time from now. There are six missing ones. Okay, so I need to go back here. Ah, okay, it's a hidden objects challenge. That's what I was missing. Okay, so um, this should give me the molding part, wherever it is. There, okay, there's the molding part. Okay, so that's the molding part, which we need uh, for the entomologist's room. And once we find all the other items, we'll get uh, back to fixing the molding. All right, doing pretty well. Rake, rake, a fork, and a vase. A vase? That looks sort of like a vase, yeah. Mm. Ooh, there's a fork, yeah. But this thing also looks like a vase, so is it this one or that one? Is it that one? Alright! Okay! A perfect hidden objects challenge. Oh, location complete! Beautiful! Okay, so not only did I find all the items without any misclicks, but. I also managed to uh, to uh, finish the location. So this is a puzzle. Uh, when you put the moldings in place, what you need to do is just click on these things to the left. They appear on the right, and you're basically trying to form a picture. So uh, you're not going to use all of these things. Those two look like they go together. Um, that doesn't match the others. Uh, that looks good. Now that piece doesn't look good. No, no, no. So it, it basically works like this. Just try pieces until you figure out which ones go in which spots. It's pretty easy because, I mean, you know, you, you base it off the shape. What matches that shape? It's that one. We get a picture of a praying mantis. Excellent. So that gives us... Uh, ooh, okay, I'm the sage of philosophy. Yes, yes. No, uh, that gives us the crystal eye. Now, to the past! What's wrong? Did you see the beast? If I had to choose between the hound and the monstrous tarantula that has taken up residence here, believe me, I'd hesitate a few minutes before deciding. Sir Henry, I beg you to excuse the remarks of Dr. Watson. His phobia for spiders makes him absolutely illogical. It's understandable. Let's try to find out what happened to Lily Baskerville. Why is Holmes just so downright mean to Watson? It's like, okay, Watson's scared of spiders. That's not so terrible. So we have termites here. Termites in the terrarium. We must bust them out and, uh, well, literally bust them out. Oh wait, it's a hidden objects challenge. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a while. So those are the termites. I found the termites. Am I done? Is that it? I found all the termites. Do I really need to find these other things? I don't need to find these other things. I found all the termites. We're good, right? Okay, let's find the other things. A uh, skeleton, dog print, um, shovel. Found the shovel. That's good. Oh, man. So I'm just guessing by clicking on random items, which could be objects. Clearly, that is not working. I actually have to look for items. So dragonflies. Were those not spectacles? Oh, spectacle case. Okay. Um, a dragonfly, an elephant, and a, a ladybug. Scales. Okay, those are scales. Those are not pinchers? Those are pinchers. Those are totally pinchers. Am I just clicking on the wrong spot? There's a dragonfly. Um, okay, there's the elephant. Hourglass, ladybug, ladybug. Hourglass, pinchers, and watch. Um, hourglass. Yeah, there's the hourglass. Watch and pinchers. No. Okay, there's the watch. I'm gonna have to use a hint for the pinchers, because apparently those are not pinchers. I do not, I do not know what those are if they are not pinchers. Uh, those pinchers? No. 
Yeah, I, I just... We've got multiple things which look like pinchers, and neither of them are pinchers. It's those things... Those are tweezers! Those are not pinchers, those are tweezers! Tweezers, okay. Yeah, whatever. Okay, what else do we have here? A scheme piece. Uh, Tetravex. Second floor key, but we need something to grab it. We're gonna need the butterfly net. And why do I not have the butterfly net? Okay, back to the present. Oh, there's the butterfly. Hmm. Okay, so the termites go on the chest, and we need to speed up the termites eating the chest in order to get the butterfly net. Okay, great, we got the butterfly net. Hooray! And I'll remember what else we needed for. So we're gonna get the uh, that thing there. Um, and... The chrysalis needs to be sped up. Okay, speed it up to get another butterfly. So we've got the, the butterflies. Okay, back to the present, to the past. Oh, no, a waste of a hint. Okay, so the hint says I need to get a flower here. We need to get, um, well, all the flowers over there for something. Okay, what am I missing here? I know I'm missing something in the entomology room. Yes, there's the Tetravex plate. Uh, okay, let's see what the map says. Map says I can do something here in the present and in the past. It says here we are going to put these pieces in place for a simple puzzle. You move things up and down, so you do number two and then number four. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the simple puzzle. Uh, the other the other things are on more... this floor we will find the rooms of Edward and Elizabeth. At the end of the corridor we should find the astronomical observatory of my uncle. As for the room at the right, I think that is the room that was prepared for me. Unfortunately, my uncle didn't send me the keys. Locked doors are not an obstacle, Sir Henry. A loss of time, at the very most. Okay, so, uh, we have a key in the picture, uh, but that doesn't help us very much. Okay, Tetravex, uh, telescope thingy, I don't think there's anything else here. And we've got the, the wax candle. Oh, oh, okay, so that's Charles's door. Um, that's another door. Th these are the doors for the other three members of the Baskerville family. We haven't dealt with them yet. So the wax mold Look, is... Henry, a piece of heraldry. Someone has taken great pains to conceal it inside this wax mold. Indeed, Holmes. Now I understand your hesitation in reviving the fire. If the logic seen so far is repeated, we should expect this shield to release a new power of the medallion. Holmes just keeps interrupting me. Okay, what you do is you put the uh, the wax mold there, and then you put it on the fire. You basically put it on the fire. That gives us... Hey, we're finished with the room. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that the room is now empty. We cannot warp to that room. We can't warp to that room anymore. Um... I mean, we could walk into the room if we really had to. There's the thing I was missing, this dark place. Okay, uh, that dark place gives us the flower uh, for the past. And that gives us uh, another butterfly. Great, so that's the final butterfly. And that's complete as well. Beautiful. So as I was saying, all of these rooms are finished. We know they're finished because they don't appear on the map anymore. We can walk to them. However, we can't actually warp to them on the map. That's how we know those rooms are finished. Now, here is a puzzle with the three butterflies. We put the three butterflies in place, and you want to make matches. Fairly simple here with just, you know, the match-making puzzles. Okay, so... Okay, that butterfly has a lot of lines. Great. And then, um, that one's sort of got colored bottom. It's sort of yellowish. I mean, a lot of these butterflies have, like, yellow bottoms, but that one had a particularly different color. Um, those match. Those match. Those, those match? Ooh, two of those three have to match, okay? There's some very similar butterflies. Okay, those two butterflies go together? Nope, those two. Um, okay, those ones... I think, I think we've got it, we've got it. Okay, so those are all the butterflies. They all match. Really great work, my friend. So this gives us the final coat of arms piece. Hooray! So now we can undo the curse on Lily Baskerville. We have saved the entomologist. Fantastic! We started and finished her challenge in one video. Woohoo! What new ability will this jewel bring to the family medallion? Let's see. It says, 
Nothing created, everything transformed. A quotation of Antoine Lavoisier, the famous French chemist. Exactly. This principle was widely used by the alchemists in the last century. This new power must be related to the transformation of material. Is it possible that this is the great work? The Philosopher's Stone? Watson, you've been reading too many Harry Potter books, dude. Let's search for a place where we can use it without delay. Yes, without delay, we will use the power of materialization. <laughs>